Do you need the Lord to take your hand? Let us pray. Father God, as we come this morning, this afternoon, this evening, we come to you, Lord, first of all, to give you all the glory and all the praise. For you, Lord, and you alone are worthy of all of our praises. You continue to walk with us and talk with us when no one else is there. We come this morning, Father, to thank you. You've been so good. You've been such a good God. Someone within the sound of my voice has a cancer. Someone within the sound of my voice has an addiction or an affliction. We ask that you heal, that you deliver, that you turn it around right now. We ask that you take our hands, Lord. We ask that you touch. We ask that you deliver right now. In the mighty name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. We ask, Father, that you continue to touch the leadership in and around the world. Someone needs you right now. We ask that you enter into their life. You enter into their hearts right now. Father, there's war in the Ukraine. There's war around the world. There is suffering going on right now. But you, with your mighty arms, with your mighty power, are able to make our enemies our footstools. We ask that you touch, that you deliver right now. There's suffering in the Ukraine. There's suffering all around the world. There's suffering in China. There's suffering. We're going to give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. Right now, Father, we turn it all over to you. Whatever has been ruined, whatever has been lost, we're calling on the name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ, right now, to heal and to deliver. In the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. We claim it right now with an amen, amen, and amen. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I'm so tired, I'm so weak, and I'm so worn. Through the storms, lead me on, take my hand. Precious Lord, lead me home. What a God we serve. What a God we serve. Share with me this book of Psalms this morning. The hundred and tenth 
book of Psalms. And the first verse. And God's word so read. The Lord said unto my Lord. Sit thou at my right hand. Until. I want to repeat that. Until. I make thine enemies. Thy footstools. I want to talk about that this morning. We make our enemies our footstools. We make our enemies our footstools. David knew what he was talking about. He defeated Goliath. Who hovered above him. He defeated a great king. He defeated several armies. He continued to walk. And stand tall. Though his enemies were greater, he continued throughout his life to make his enemies his footstools. But that is what the people of God do. If we look back to the history books, my brothers and sisters, if we look back through the word of God, this word, what we find is that the people of God continue to make our enemies, our footstools. We continue to do it. How? We continue to pray. We continue to lean not toward the ways of the world, but toward the ways of his word. We continue to go down on our knees and pray. We continue to stay with the Lord. And he says, until. That means it's only a matter of time. When the people of God crossed over or prepared to cross over the River Jordan, what did Joshua say? He said, consecrate thyself. Go down on thy knees and reflect on how good God has been to you. For tomorrow, for tomorrow, he said, until tomorrow, and God will show you great things. Are you tired, my brothers and sisters? We get tired. I get it. I get tired, too. But it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before we cross over to the River Jordans that God has promised to all of his people. You hear me? Not just a few of us, but to all of us. If you're a child of God, if you love God, if you believe in God, if you receive God daily in your heart, keep yourself focused on the Lord. He will make your enemies your footstools. Who is your enemy? The world. The world 
is your enemy. Satanic forces surround us daily, my brothers and sisters, everywhere you go. Satan is moving and hovering around, seeking whom he may devour. But in due time, God will deliver. He will make your enemies your footstool. So continue to make your haters your motivators. Don't fall short. Don't fall short. And become like your enemies. They want you to be hateful. They want you to despise your brothers and sisters. They want you to hate. Don't get caught up in that. Call upon the Lord. And he will. Take your hand. He will make you strong. He will deliver you. He'll help you fight. He'll help you win. And he will help you to keep the victory in sight. Continue to pray. You will continue to be victorious. You will continue to overcome. You will continue to win. Because as a child of God, that's what we do. And as a child of God, we will continue to make our enemies our footstools. Keep watching. Keep praying. Keep staying with your mind on the Lord who is able to do anything but fail. And he will continue to bless you. Know that. Claim that. And keep the victory in sight. We ask that you support this ministry. How? Simply go to Amazon.com. Christopher Irvin. I have 10 books and two CDs on Amazon.com. If you write us today and send us a love offering of $25 or more, I will send you a copy of one of my books. This one, Crossing Over the River Jordans of Life. Do you know that we cross every day because we take the Lord with us daily in our lives? We love you, but more importantly, God loves you. Until next time, keep the victory in sight.